Hey, this is Braun from Macedon, and you're watching Access Unlimited. Yeah! This is Dwayne with Access Unlimited. I'm here with Braun from Mastodon. How's it going today? It's going great. Are you cooking out here in the Denver heat? I sure am. So, I'm every minute of it. So what, what time do you guys go on tonight? Are you going to be after the sun goes down or you guys no. have to play in the heat? We play in the heat most nights uh, or most evenings. We play at like 545, but the sun's still pretty raging, you know, summertime. Uh, but yeah, it's all right. Drink a lot of water, all that stuff. That's cool. Party scene back here pretty good. Parties are good. You know, uh, we've been taking it easy just because the heat kind of drains you. Uh, so you got to kind of chill if you want to be good the next day to play. But tonight is going to be a rager because tomorrow we have the day off. Cool. Maybe we'll stay for it and go home <laughs> late. So so what, what's the latest album you guys are promoting right now? Uh, I guess we're promoting Blood Mountain, but that's, uh, you know, we put that out a, a while ago. We just we just got out of the, uh, of the studio in Atlanta like uh, you know like a week and a half ago right before this tour started so we're kind of in, be in a transitional period and we needed something to do in the summer and this seemed like the best bet so are you guys finishing the next album right now wrapping it up yeah it's pretty much uh, we're done tracking it and when we get home from this we're gonna mix it and then it'll probably be out in December January around there what's the title gonna be I can't I can't say that yet too far off it's titles to be determined in the future. Uh, well, how are you going to describe? How would you describe this next album that you guys are about to release? Uh, I'm not really sure because it's not done yet completely. So, but I'm not sure. Seems a little more a broader sound. I don't know how to explain it really. You have to listen to it. Uh, are you guys still like rewriting and adjusting the songs and things like that in the studio? Or are you pretty yeah, much? You do, I mean, you, you're going to do that all the way up to the the very end. You know. You guys uh, do all your own engineering, or do you? Are you guys working out of somebody else's studio? No, we're working with another guy. Uh, we're working out of a Southern Tracks in Atlanta with a guy named Brendan O'Brien. Is that where your band's based out of? Yeah, we live in Atlanta. And uh, how long is this tour you're going to be on going to last? This is a six-week tour. It goes uh, till middle endish of August, and then uh, we head back home. So, any exciting things happened so far on the tour? Probably yesterday was the most excitement with the weather. Uh, you know, this crazy rainstorm came came in, and uh, we had to wrap everything in plastic really very quickly, and then get it quickly off of it so that we could play on time. It's a little nerve wracking, but uh, it made for a good show. You know, were you guys actually caught in the storm? Uh, well, not not really. I mean, we were under the shed, you know, so we we're sort of protected. But you know, the rain was coming in, raining on everything, raining on the. You know, you had to wrap all the electronics that are sitting out there, so it was a little hectic. Could imagine. So, so how has it been having to play on such a, a wide venue, and you, you know, with all these other bands and the crowd response and things like that? It's been great. I mean, you know, the crowds have been awesome. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's. I don't I don't think the bands are that far apart. You know, like the music's pretty rooted in in heaviness, and that's uh, kind of across the board. You know, there's I guess a little something for everybody, but but there's uh you know it's all heavy music, so this is the the heavy music festival to go to of the year, you know. But if, with Ozfest not being around, something has to take its place, you know. Actually, personally, I think this is better than Ozfest, but uh, I like the heavier music more than the you know more pop stuff that's been out. How, how do you feel about uh, you know the crowd uh, response to this style of music finally coming back after all these years? Uh, you know, I mean, that's what's going to happen. That's how things work. You know, they 
kind of moving moving cycles. So uh, it's kind of expected that 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 was going to happen. But metal's always been there. So, uh, but yeah, it's really nice. You know, obviously because I play a heavier style of music that people are, you know, that it's enjoying a a, a resurgence. So yeah. You, you guys have been around a real long time. About when would you say that you noticed the resurgence and in, in, uh, you know the response to this style of music? Uh, you know, it seems to be growing a lot more now. I guess um, early 2000s are kind of our buddies' bands that we were playing with in you know basements like Lamb of God and and like Kill Switch Engage and all those kind of bands started doing like huge tours and we were like, well, you know, what's going on? Uh, so yeah, that's kind of when and then Slayer kind of came out and. Uh, you know, started packing arenas again, so it was like, whoa. Has the internet really helped you in promoting, or would you say it's hurt you? I think it's helped, you know, especially early on, you know. We were one of those bands that definitely benefited from people being able to get a hold of our music for free and then come out to our show. So that's the way it's going to be. Yeah, I, I noticed a lot of bands are really trying to promote their music towards like PlayStation and gaming and things like that. Yeah, so Have kids, you guys been are, working on uh, that? The kids are, uh, the kids are not like uh, they still spend a lot of money, but they spend it in different places. There's just a lot of other distractions going on, and games is a big part of that, you know. Uh, yeah, we have a song on Guitar Hero, and we have a song, you know, we're that's a that's a, a huge thing right now for for the music industry is really trying to get you know all those music related games I think that that's like you know what everyone's jumping on right now so of course we're there right along with them well, that's good I mean it's good to see that you guys can still make money because I as with the internet I, I'm assuming uh, you know CD sales have dropped because people can download music a lot easier than they can go to the store and buy it yeah that's true. <laughs> uh, do you guys measure your, your downloads against CD sales at all or look at those kinds of things when you're looking at your budgets and, you know, what you're going to do next? No, not really. You know, I mean, I don't know. People are going to download music. It's just inevitable, you know. Uh, digital sales, you know, they're, they're there, but really if it's available for free, people are just going to take it. You know, I don't think anyone has any any qualms about it. It's so, so, such a normal activity now uh, that no one feels particularly bad about it. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's fine. Whatever. Well, it was nice uh, talking to you and interviewing you, Bren. Nice to talk I'm to looking you looking forward to seeing you guys play tonight or this oh. afternoon yeah. in the heat. Yeah. And uh, I'll be there. I'm Dwayne Veal from Access Unlimited with Bren from Mastodon. Bye.